The interface in Bitwig Studio is actually really similar to Ableton Live. You've got the horizontal timeline view here called the Arrange view. Then you've got your vertical tracks and looping clips here called the Mix view. And then down at the bottom, you have all of your detail editors. You have the note editor, the automation editor, and then over here you have a device panel so you can see whatever is in whatever track you select. And there's this other view here called the edit view. What this is, is basically a bigger version of this note editor panel. So if you click it, you can see that the note editor basically explodes full screen and you have all this space to work with. But since it's a view up top, you can also add panels to the bottom of it just like the other views. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, all of your navigation of this is going to happen with these little bits down here at the bottom. Arrange view, mix view, edit view, and then you have your note editor, your automation editor, your detail editor, and so forth. If you're in a range view, you also have this extra one here, which just puts the mix style mixers down at the bottom. This, this is, again, all very useful, and it's up to you to decide how you think this is the most useful to you. There's also, within the individual views, a bunch of different options, like you can have big mixers up here in the mix view, or you can, you know, get rid of the various different things on the screen. Eventually you have almost nothing. Uh, and then over here in a range view, and this is the one everybody likes, you can load up the launcher, which is just like the mix view, except it's turned sideways to match these tracks here. You've all seen this if you've been watching the videos about Bitwig. This is the feature that a lot of people were talking about. Finally, you've got the uh, inspector over here. And what this is, is another panel. And it's basically a detailed preferences for almost anything you can click on. So like here's this launcher clip, it's called Rock01, this one's called ARP Control, this track is called Polysynth. You can actually get down to the individual notes within a clip and they've all got inspector uh, panels that you can play with. When you want that to go away, you just click down here and there you go. So this is a lot of clicking and that can get really annoying really fast. And this is where I think Bitwig is starting to feel really good to use. Every one of these is navigable with keyboard shortcuts. The tab key switches the top views. The panels at the bottom each have their own keys. So A for automation, E for editing, D for devices. And then if you hit the same key, the whole thing just disappears. And then the edit view is shift tab. This is where I started getting confused coming from Ableton. In Ableton Live, it's very similar. Tab to switch the top views and shift and tab to switch the bottom views, but it's always a switch. If you want to get rid of them, there's a separate keyboard shortcut to make it go away. In Bitwig, there's no guaranteed bring it up, take it down shortcut. There's just press the button you want, it'll focus. If it's already focused, it'll make it go away. So you start thinking more like, what do I want to do? I want to play with the mix view. Okay, let's go over to that. I want to edit a clip now we choose the clip. Now I want to edit automation for that clip. Now I want to go edit devices. I'll hit D. So it's very intuitive and it moves very cleanly and I, I like the feel of it quite a bit. Shift tab always takes you to the edit. Shift tab always takes you back out. Uh, the whole thing is just very clean. If you want to know where all of these keyboard shortcuts are, hit control and enter. You'll bring up this thing here. Then you can type in what you're looking for, like say you want to know about the launcher. You can see your shortcut for toggling the clip launcher is L, so let's try it. See the launcher comes in and out, or if I'm over here in a range view, the launcher comes in and out there. So there it is. That's keyboard shortcuts, interface navigation. Good luck and happy editing.